Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today I bring you yet another set review for 20, um, another set review, <coughs> excuse me, um, it, this is another one of my set reviews for 2020, these are the sets that I get for, uh, myself, um, I don't happen to, uh, again, I, I don't get sets, I don't get every single set on, like, uh, just like Jonathan Pushcar does or Ash and Flash. I would like to, but I don't live on my own where I purchase these own sets with my own money. I do purchase these own sets with my money, but sometimes, like, these sets, like the past sets you've seen for, um, like, the last two sets, um, these sets I've gotten for Christmas of 2019, so that's the reason, that's the reasoning there, and then I also get sets, I also get sets for my birthday, and I also get, uh, I sometimes purchase sets with my own money, but it's very rare, so I only purchase, sometimes the things I purchase with my own money are, excuse me, by the way, I cut myself, so if you see my, if you see redness on my finger, that's what I did, I cut myself, but I'm okay, um, I, um, I only purchased the blind bag series, the blind bag, uh, CMF series, um, CMF, so that's what I do there. This is the Y-Wing from the Rise of Skywalker set review today, and I'm, I like this set, um, I'm gonna review it and then take it apart at some point in the near future, just cause there's space on my table, and so yeah, I may take this apart in the near future, but I'm gonna leave it up probably for most of the coming, uh, most of the year in 2020, so I'll think about that, uh, how long I wanna keep it alive, or keep it up, um, built. But for now, I really like this set, and um, I just love Marvel sets and CMFs and other sets, so. But let's get to this, and let's take a look at the minifigs, so. First up, we have uh, the Stormtrooper, or the First Order Storm Stormtrooper, which he has this cool mask, um, and he has this papery cape. His mask just fell off. He has the papery cape, there's some back printing there. Let's fold it back down. Alright, as I try to do that, it's so it's so complicated. Uh, a little bit difficult. He comes with a medium-sized rifle. His face is the uh, same face that they used for Rhino and um, and everybody else. And then there's some torso printing, which is kind of cool. I really like that torso printing, and I love the leg printing as well. It's just that it's not my favorite minifig of the set, and uh, but probably my favorite stormtrooper of them all. Um, actually, I'm not. I think this is a flame trooper, to be honest. This is a flame trooper. So there's the flame trooper. I just realized because I I hate it um, that the flame troopers look exactly like the um, the other stormtroopers because their like helmet is exactly the same now, and I always get them confused, but. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at Poe Dameron, and uh, so here he is, he has some hair, it's the same hair that they use for Superman, um, the slick back hair, which I really like this hair, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time discussing it, and then he has a new face print, I think this might be the same face print for Bucky Barnes, is it the same face print for Bucky Barnes? No, it's not, it's different, it's different than Bucky Barnes, but it kind of looks like it could be a better Bucky Barnes' uh, beard or, or haircut. So, there we go, there's that, and then he comes with this new satchel piece, or this cool satchel, and I love, I, I love this design with the torso print, the back print there, and, uh, so yeah, here comes with this little silver pistol, and then the, the leg printing is cool as well, I really like that, the little bag or whatever, the little, uh, belt piece there, so that's pretty cool, and I really like that design overall for the minifig, I, this is my only Poe Dameron minifigure, by the way, so, in my collection there. Next up, we're going to take a look at the droid of the set, Dio. And he he's really cool. I really like this. This is the, one of the reasons I got this set. Uh, right there, he has a circle. It's all round, by the way. There's some little lines right there. There's a um, circle piece with little lines and a dot right there on the other side. It's a little bit different. And as you can see, it comes it comes out this way. There's a gray peak, there's a gray spot right there, and right there there's a little circle, there's a little dot, so it comes out right there, and then there's a cone piece, this is just like a cone, and then there's a little wheel. I like this, I wish he kind of rolled, like unfortunately he doesn't roll at all, but, he doesn't roll, but 
he can stand on one stud. There's one stud right there, so it's pretty cool. And then you can put anything on the back of him you'd like. You can basically just take, uh, I'm trying to see what you would take. You could just put him, you can basically put him on the set here if I zoom out. You can put him on there, basically. So, as you can see right there, he's like right here. Just take him off there. So, basically, he's cool and all. I just like the uh, little color scheme on him. I just like the color scheme on him and the nice lines. I think they're supposed to make a buildable figure of him in 2020, so that's cool. In the fall, or the fall of 2020, I think. So here, uh, the last character is Zori Bliss, which, if you take the helmet off, is uh, there's no face print, which is okay. Now, I heard people say that this helmet is really... I love this helmet, by the way. It looks really cool. My favorite minifig of the set, actually. I love the pistols, and the torso and leg printing is sweet. Absolutely sweet. The back printing is great as well. And uh, it's really cool. I just wanted this character because I like the character in the film. And uh, it's a great inclusion of Star Wars in general. And I have to say, this helmet does kind of look like Slave 1. Some people were saying it kind of looks like Slave 1. And I have to agree. Um, it kind of looks like it. So let me know in the comments below if you think it looks like Slave 1. I think it kind of does. Uh, is that what they were kind of going for? I don't know if TT Games... Not TT Games. If... Um, Warner Brothers, or who who makes the Star Wars? J.J. Uh, Abrams was trying to go with that, or whoever made her costume was trying to go with that. If it was T T, if it was J.J. Uh, Abrams, if it was uh, Lucasfilm, or if whoever it was. But uh, anyway, I like the selection. Oh wait, dude, I forgot one minifigure. I was trying to save Zori Bliss for the last, but I forgot that the there was an astromech droid in the back, and uh, he has. I love this color, by the way. I love this color scheme, the uh, gray with the. Um, <coughs> there's a back printing there. <laughs> And then the, uh, all the same kind of aesthetics as R2-D2, and then three, uh, three little eyes up there, and uh, the same legs or whatever, but it's a different piece, um, than R2-D2, it's a little, like, uh, I don't know what to call it, it's not cone, but like cylinder-ish, round piece, kind of like cylinder dome, almost, kind of, kind of like, not like a round one as R2-D2, but I don't know what to call it, but. Anyway, it's a uh, teal, kind of like a turquoise is teal, teal color, um, what's the word, uh, color on this droid. So I really like that, and I just put him in there, sit him in, sit him in here. Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's take a look at the set now. We're going to take a look at the beautiful, beautiful X-Wing, or Y-Wing, excuse me, I'm saying it wrong already. Alright, so basically the droid just goes right in there. That's where he goes. And uh, I may move the camera a bit. Because the set is big. I don't know how to do this. But anyway, so we have this piece opens up right here. And this set is very fragile. Uh, I had a hard time building it, like right here. And uh, it was really tough because I, I didn't like this. I don't like this underneath here. It's really, really uh screwy and it really screws me up because uh I, I i like honestly i like this i like um all of this and i get and, and i have one complaint with this set in a m minute but right now there's these little things that move you can turn it any way you like you can turn these there's some missiles basically and then as you can see here there's some well there's two little missiles right here i think these shoot out um in the movie they would shoot out uh like have blasters and then I thought there were missiles. Yeah, there's missiles right there. There's a missile right there. So you can, as you can see, you can shoot it via just hitting this. And then it would, if I can. Well, I can't even do it. Oh, wait. Well, that's gone. <laughs> that's on my floor now. But I don't know if you just saw how I did that. And then if you did, uh, I'm going to do it again on this side. It just shoots out basically like so. So it shoots out like that. And then there's these little stickers right there. There's a sticker there. And it goes up on top here. So this was kind of fun. I loved building. Um, this got a little repetitive. I have to say that this side this side, and this side got a little repetitive. Um, but yeah, I love the middle of this. It was, it was kind of a fun build. Uh, fun fact, when I was watching it, or when I was building this. Um, there, so, so this goes up and down. And then inside here, there's a printed piece. I think that's printed. Yeah, that's a printed piece right there. These are all stickers here. These are all stickers. This is a sticker, I believe. No, this is printed, I believe. The This is printed. And then, yeah, the droid goes right there. And then uh, I'll show you one of the play features right here. One of the play features is this. 
you just turn this knob on the back here. There's a couple play features. One is the missiles on both sides, and then another one is you turn this right here, and then the bombs pop out. You just put the bombs in here, like so. And there are three of them, there are three bombs. And if I turn the last one, you can see it fall out right there. So that's a pretty cool feature. I have to say so myself, if I don't say so myself. Um, so yeah, it's kind of uh, hard to keep all three in there though at once. But anyway, there's this little design right here and this little design right there. It's the same on both sides kind of. And I like this, little the little wheels. Oops, I just knocked her over. But uh, yeah, we've got both these on both sides, stickers on both sides. And now one of the things is, when I was building this, um, let me show you the back of it. There's this, and then this, it just attaches to these little things. It attaches to the Technic pieces right here, the little Technic, uh, Technic doohickeys right here, the Technic, um, I don't even know what to call these, the Technic, um, Technic pieces right there, I don't know what to call them. But uh, Technic strips, and then right here, I didn't have one, it didn't come with an extra one. It came with these two black pieces, so that's why I kept them over to the side um, of the video, or of the camera. And I didn't understand why it gave me two of these black pieces, like it doesn't even fit. So I was trying to like decide, do I contact Lego, and I'm going to just put these in my bin, but I want to save them for the video sake, uh, for the video purpose, because I was like, I wanted to show you that they sent me them. And I was like, well, this doesn't make any sense, why would they send me them? If it doesn't fit, and I was trying to look in my bins, and it sent they sent me two of these, right? So I look in my bin, and I found an extra one of, I found an extra one of these pieces, and then I, cause I needed two of them, so I found an extra one of these, and I put it over here, and then I still need one more right here, but it doesn't really bother me because it doesn't really, it it it, it doesn't really. Like if I if I since I don't have one, it doesn't really benefit me from doing anything, because it's not like it's it's right here. It's not like it's on the end here and it's like uncovered. Cause right here it doesn't really matter. Like if it's since since there's nothing there, it it, it kind of matters because it's part of the set. But I'm like heck, I, I, it doesn't even matter. So I was trying to decide if I contact Lego or what I do. And by the way, guys, oh shoot, there are these. There's a leg right here. And a leg right here, two, these two legs right here to make it stand, to make it uh, sit right there. So that's pretty cool. So, yep, we got those legs there. So that's pretty much the whole set. That's my review. It's kind of weird, though, that they sent me the two of those things. Again, it's weird. Um, I don't know what their thought with that was, like who did that and why it happened, but um, they did. So I'm not complaining. It, it is kind of a weird complaint, though. Um, it's just kind of weird. So that's all I'm going to say. So that's it. I'm going to put the missile back. I'm going to put these in my bin because I don't need these for anything. I'm just letting you guys know that that's what happened. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have, the, if any of you guys have this set and got the same pieces and had the same issue because I would like to know, but I've seen a review of the set and I have never seen that issue. So, uh, let me know and I don't know, uh, what to say. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below. I'm going to put that missile back in because it's on my floor and I don't want to keep it there. I don't want my dog to eat it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, catch me on Instagram, uh, follow me on Instagram at Boba Fit Jedi Master. Don't forget to um, show go um, not, not follow me. Uh, go check out my Discord account and um, DP Ship Bricks. If you watch this video, please uh, DP Ship Bricks, please help me out by putting that in my account. Actually, sending me uh, the Discord and then I can in the comments so people can. Go check it out, and then I will put that in my YouTube account, my YouTube page. So thank you so much. Thank you for doing that. Go ahead, go check out my Discord. Go check out Instagram. Follow me there. Fo uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye, everyone.